Once you're happy with that, you can go into wireframes and it's going to generate basically seconds and move the sections, right? So I can just copy and I can paste that. Have you ever thought that you could go from a blank page to a fully functional, beautifully designed website in minutes? Well, guess what? Now it's not just possible, it's actually easy and I'll show you exactly how to do that. Stick around and I'll unveil the game changer in web design that's making this a reality. Something that I've personally been using for quite some time and I really want to share this one with you. So today we are diving into Relume, a tool that's redefining the standards of web design. So I've been using this tool and library for quite some time now uh, and actually kept it a bit secret. But since I'm close to reaching a thousand subscribers on my channel, I really want you to know about it. And also this video isn't sponsored and I'm just sharing it from my personal experience with you. So this is the website of Relume, as you can see directly, uh, while you're here, you can see what they say about it, that website design and build faster with AI. Uh, we have here an example of how that might look like with a prompt and what it really does. So you get from sitemaps to UX wireframes just by using a text prompt. And I'll give you an example very shortly on how you can use it. Um, I see something that's new is coming on the roadmap is the UI style guide. So that means probably you'll be able to risk in the components that they give you, uh, maybe with some kind of presets. So you can choose your colors. Maybe you can choose the fonts that you want. Uh, and I'm not saying that's still available, uh, right now. You can do that right now. But what I think they will want to do is, make it just a bit faster directly built in in their platform so if we scroll down a little bit we can see that there are a couple of brands here that have been using it i can even see nike uh, i can see jasper fin uh, i saw another one big name headspace that probably using relo which i think it's quite amazing to be honest here is the example that i mentioned about sitemap so in this example that you see here, the user is describing the uh, business or what they want to generate, and it's automatically going to give that sitemap. You know, you could spend hours brainstorming ideas and thinking about what to do, but what Relu managed to do here is you are able to move, you know, all the elements around. If you want to move a section to another page or copy and paste it, you can do that directly. Um, and you can also say things like, I want this in hero header section to describe the product or the business. So maybe a call to action or something like that. So you can specify that in the sitemap. Uh, and as soon as you move into the next step into wireframes, you will be, it will generate automatically for you all the sections. So the way it does it, they have, a pre-built selection of components, uh, you know, multiple hero section with different layouts, uh, and maybe different feature section or maybe, uh, multiple navigation bars, right? So depending on case by case, it will generate what it thinks it fits best for your business needs, uh, based on your prompt and your, on your sitemap, which I think is quite amazing. I've never seen another tool to do it this great uh, plus it also has ai copywriting so you can it also gives you the text right so in this example uh on this website the way i did it i used the wireframes thing um and then you know i, I specified that it's going to be a travel website and also generated this copy for me like discover the world through our lens uh, some taglines and maybe, you know, some things for the, for the buttons. Maybe this one inspiring travel adventures around the globe. So it was all AI generated. So that's the nice thing with the prompts, right? Keeps that, uh, I would say in memory and it's going to give you copy specific to your needs. And it'll be great, right? You still have to do some changes, but I think it's gets you a step closer and gives you some inspiration. So it saves you some time with that as well. Um, and yeah, uh, and then after that, 
you can also copy to Figma, right? So you, I'll show you exactly that in a second. And also you can copy directly to Webflow. So the website I show you here, um, you know, I, I play around, I paste it in Figma, but also I just put it directly in Webflow. And then you, in Webflow, you can customize the styling. I'll show you. Uh, here you have a couple of great examples of websites built uh, using Relum. And you might say, right, this is library. So you might think that everything looks the same, but because it gives you all that customization option uh, from Webflow. Um, so by the way, yeah, this is part of Webflow, but also it gives you React code. Now, personally, I haven't used the React code as much. I know they are still developing it. It's, it's kind of in beta and it's using Tailwind, but the, the big part here is Webflow and how you can customize it. So for example, let's have a look at this one. Uh, you see how it looks. Uh, it has the hero, but there is nothing really that it will tell you this was built with uh, Realme, right? If I go and select another one from the list, you'll see there is actually, you know, a, a big difference between them. Uh, maybe if I select this one, right? It looks something like that. So nothing that, you know, is going to scream, oh, this is Realme, it's another uh, templatized website. No, it's no, it's nothing like that. It's completely different. Gives you that power, which I really, really love. Um, and even if you customize the website, you're still able to use your components. I think it's, it's quite great. This video is not sponsored, so Realme is not, you know, uh, paying to make this video. I'm just doing it because, um, I'm, yeah, I said I'm reaching a thousand subscribers really, really soon. And I appreciate everyone for that. And I think you should know all my, my biggest secrets because you're following me and I want to share that with you. So this is my, my, you know, sacred power that I've been using for some time to build websites. And I think, yeah, it's just, just amazing. We got the Webflow library and we also had Figma library. You know, if you are a Figma person and you prefer to do that directly in Figma, uh, before you move it into Webflow, you can totally do that. Do the design Figma, see how it looks, and then you'll move into building it in Webflow. In my case, I have here a couple of projects that I've been designing. So. You can go and say a new project. Um, you can go and say start building. Uh, so you can give it kind of a prompt, right? And we can, we can, you know, try here a couple of examples. If we are not inspired, uh, you can also give it a name. So you can say top. Uh, I'm not that inspired today. So top bank will do. Uh, you can give it the number of pages. So let's say five to 10 should be fine. The language. Um, we can also choose a language like, I'm just going to go with English for now. That's, that's fine. And say generate. And it does take a couple of seconds, I think, which is again, pretty fast. Right. So it gives you that kind of side map right here. Uh, and we can, you know, we can zoom in. We can see that's going to be a, a header section. You can, you know, make it global if you want, like this navigation bar, it's already global and we can generate the rest of the sections. So if you are happy with this structure, you can move ahead and generate the rest of the pages. Or you might just simply delete them if you don't need something. And again, you can, you know, move them around if you want something different. Right. It also gives you here a description of what it's going to be included in that feature section. You can change it again. Every section works like a prompt. So you can say top three features of my website. So it kind of works as a prompt for the next step, right? And once you're happy with that, you can go into wireframes and it's going to generate basically seconds is going to take to get what you need. Well, I think uh, we are pretty much done. I think it's just this part that's also generating the copy on the go. So you're not um, just, you know, getting the design tool, but you're also getting a copywriting tool. Uh, so you can, you know, skip things like um, Jasper AI or ChatGPT for this part, or you might actually use them to improve the actual copy. Uh, like you see, you see here, I have Jasper AI. 
Uh, I'm not sure actually if you can see it or not, but uh, I am, I'm able to edit this copy with my copywriting tool if, if I need to. Um, yeah, I was saying you can do your wireframes directly here, so you can totally skip Figma if you don't want that, uh, because you can move the sections, right? So it works kind of like auto layout. Very, very responsive. And from here, you can go to export and you can export all the pages to Webflow. Um, it tells you here how it works. You need to clone the style guide, install the Webflow app on your website, um, and then you can import your site builder pages into Webflow directly from, from here. Uh, that's how I build this one. And you'll see I have this plugin into, into Webflow. And let's say I copy one of the hero header sections, like let's say, let's say this one, right? I can just copy and you'll notice it does keep, uh, let's make this slightly smaller, open up the layers. And you can see this is the global styles that it was mentioning there. You need that for this for Reluma styles to function properly. Um, and I can paste that section. And uh, yeah, you can notice here that it does keep the style, right? So anything you copy from there, from there, even you know if it here looks like it's plain, when you copy and paste into your website, it's going to keep your font, it's going to keep your colors your buttons and so on. Plus, once you copy the style guide, you'll be able to uh, modify that right here. So you can see all the different styles that Redmond provides like text white, text weight, um, text styles, and you know, the color palette. There's an option where you can copy the colors, uh, background colors, you can apply that with a class. So if you want something, you can, you can just apply the class to your text or background. You also have shadows, all the buttons, you know, you get the, the point. Uh, and everything you change in here, you, you can, let's say, update the, where is the button? You can update the button to, I don't know, something else. Let's say I want, I want the button to be, to be green. It doesn't look great, but for, uh, just for, for the sake of it, I'm going to show you how it looks on the home page. Now you see all the buttons are automatically green. So you can kind of use that style guide as a, let's say design system, right? So it works. I want to show you one more thing. So I mentioned before we have the React Builder. So now Realm allows you to view, well, not view, but you can actually copy and paste either the HTML code or the React code. It's actually based on Tailwind version 3.4. At this, you know, the time of recording, I'm sure they will improve this um, in the time to come because I can see it's in beta. So I'm pretty sure they're gonna develop this even further. Uh, for me personally, uh, Webflow is the main reason why I, I have this subscription. So that's, you know, that's been pretty much it, what I wanted to show you. Um, Relume, I think it's been great. And I want to, you know, end the video with a man. AI is here to stay. You are either, you know, a designer that's going to use it and keep up to speed with the ever-changing needs of the clients and the ever-changing technology, or you're actually going to be left behind. So AI is not something that will uh, make your job you know, less relevant, let's say you might be able to, uh, you know, produce more websites in a shorter period of time. Obviously, that's going to maybe reduce some of your costs automatically. You'll not be able to charge as much to your clients. For now, I don't think that's the case. It's still keeping the balance quite well, but you will need to use AI to keep up with the trends, with the competition. So you might, you know, Start embracing and learn as much as you can. That's why in this channel, I'm going to try and bring more AI tools for you and show you how exactly you can use them. Keep us relevant in this industry. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention is that I'm going to publish really, really soon 
a medium article about AI and design systems and I want you to be the first to read it so as soon as it's going to be published uh, is I'm going to place the link in the description of this video so have a read I've been you know working on this article for the the past two months or so have a look at it and keep up to speed with AI because it's here to stay if you enjoyed this video and this type of content as always make sure to subscribe to this channel like this video and share with your other creative friends i'll see you into the next video